Hi everyone, I am off stage here now with the great Ellen Brecke on bass here. She just finished her set with uh, Hedvig Mollestad Trio and a quick Google search and you'll see that she can play upright bass and she can play electric bass and tuba. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little bit. A yeah. little bit tuba. Yeah. But not, not only that, on the upright bass she plays with a bow as well as fingers yeah. and on the electric bass she plays fingers she plays with a pick and she plays with a slide on the electric bass now yeah. is there any bass instrument you can't play <laughs> uh, bassoon i don't think uh, that would be very nice but uh, just in my defense my tuba playing is like i played in a marching band and i can play the dunk boom boom <laughs> and then yeah so a little bit but yeah. uh, this is what i'm focused on yeah so in many ways Ellen, you are the perfect session bass player, am I correct? Well, it's, uh, I've done a lot of theater music, yeah. and that's, it's very useful, especially electric and double bass, of course, but yeah. also the tuba, because those three is something that a conductor in a theater would want. music to play opera bass but it yeah. works really works it does it's it, we started as a jazz band in yeah. 2010 it was uh, and but we soon figured we wanted to play the more heavy stuff but we try to keep the double bass because it's very easy to to just oh let's just play it on electric it's easier especially also with the sound uh, yeah. regarding feedback and that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. so it, you kind of need to tweak it to make the double bass, bass work but it has some other qualities yeah. uh, and also of course the bowing and it just it's another vibe and you can also get those boom like mm. really powerful there's some acoustics there you can yeah. get that you can't yeah. do any electric no because the the, the the tension on the string you have more mm. you can do like that on the string but yeah. on the electric you can only do that before almost, the frets yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, almost a bit more sloppy yeah um yeah. now uh, being a touring bass player how is it touring with I mean, opera bass must must be hard, difficult. <laughs> That's what uh, everyone asks me when I come with my <laughs> flight case. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's actually uh, I still because some people, uh, some double bass player takes uh, off the, they take off the neck. Yeah. And like I have a folding bass. Yeah. Uh, or uh, another type of system. We also I have a smaller type of uh, opera bass that some people use. Yeah. Like with a small. Yeah, volume. like a check ease. But yeah. I I've kept with this and I have still the full flight case. Yeah. And it's 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 usually not a problem. I mean, you have to order a bigger taxi or something yeah. but there has been a little bit more different uh, difficult in the corona period because yeah. uh, usually you can uh, <laughs> you can just check in at this automat and then you can go straight to the special yeah. luggage yeah, 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 yeah. and kind of sneak outside the yeah. check-in desk yeah but 
because of the COVID, you had to show your Corona yeah. pass. When you're flying, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. And so what I usually do is just take like two tags and go straight to the special oh, luggage. Okay. And usually there are some nice people yeah. there and they will just take it for free. And, but if oh, not, yeah. it's like paying uh, well, 1200 Norwegian Kron, like yeah. 120 so dollars. So bring your smile and try to stick with your routine and you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> and, and there's it. No, this, uh, this flight case can't fit in this uh, plane. And it's like, mm. I know it. I have a video showing it. So it's and like... And we have to have it. Yeah, we <laughs> have to have it. So yeah. it's, uh, but it's been very close not getting it. Like yeah. from Romania once, I oh, it was very close to not getting it back. Oh. So it's like, it's sometimes a little bit. And you, ca you can't really like rent an opera base at the venue because you get so many different uh, opera yes, bases yes right? and I think the, the uh, in some other projects than this uh, which is more jazz like I can yeah. do that because yeah. but since this is a quite loud band yeah I need to have this pickup system of course uh, which is you can play it quite loud before it uh, gets you get yeah. the feedback you and need some sort of pickup system of, yeah. of course yeah this is a Danish called the Wilson it sounds maybe more electric than yeah. some uh, like the realist or dpa yeah. or something but but it's safer it's safer and yeah. it's very stable and you guys are moving around yeah a lot so for me that works in this band that works and yeah. I, and oh, this is like it still feeds a little bit and then i just yeah. you know use the some tape, duct tape always duct tape uh, yeah thank you thank you so much ellen brecken for showing up thank you very much and uh, amazing bass player check her out on the web uh, yeah